This is a KYMA.com digital update. To start off this week's Rewind session, these new details in connection with the deadly March 2nd crash deserve an honorable mention. The U.S. District Attorney's Office announced the arrest of Mexicali resident 47-year-old Jose Cruz Nogues. A federal judge on Tuesday charged Nogues with conspiracy to transport illegal migrants causing serious bodily harm and with human smuggling for financial gain. The conspiracy charge all on its own carries a maximum 20-year sentence. El Centro Sector Border Patrol is currently investigating a smuggling operation within the city of Imperial. Agents say they received a tip that led them to the discovery. Upon further investigation, agents found a cloned Imperial Irrigation District truck that was being used to smuggle in people just east of the Calexico port of entry. The faux IID truck served as the perfect disguise to smuggle undocumented immigrants in plain sight. Police, family, and friends are searching for Derek Runyon, whom has been missing since Wednesday, March 24th. Runyon's father says he was going to meet someone to fix his car at Walmart. He was supposed to return Thursday morning, but never came back. If you see Derek or have any information on his whereabouts, please contact the Yuma Police Department at 78CRIME. In a statement, Arizona Senate leadership said it has hired a team of independent auditors to complete a comprehensive, full forensic audit of the 2020 election in Maricopa County. The audit will also include a hand recount of all ballots. News 11's Adonis Albright spoke with local politicians to get their take on the election audit. Representative Charlene Fernandez, who represents Yuma County, said she doesn't see the point in re-litigating an election that's already been certified. Representative Tim Dunn says although previous audits in Maricopa County have come up short, he wants to make sure each and every ballot was verified. In the previous three audits, Dunn notes only a portion of the total ballots were audited. Four companies have been hired on to conduct an independent audit of Maricopa County's election results from November's general election. Cinemark Theaters is reopening its Century Imperial Valley Mall 14 theater location in El Centro. The reopening event is a week-long premiere celebration. In addition to contactless ticketing, the theater provides ample cleaning supplies for guests to use such as seat wipes and hand sanitizer. Masks are required at all times while in the building except for when eating or drinking. Seating arrangements are set up to block off surrounding seats for those already purchased to ensure social distancing. The death tolls for California and Arizona inch even closer to 60,000 and 17,000 respectively. Collectively, Imperial and Yuma counties have experienced over 1,500 deaths in attribution to the coronavirus. The two counties have also documented over 62,000 cases. Imperial County makes up 0.3% of California's vaccines administered, whereas Yuma County accounts for just over 2.8% of Arizona's total. For the latest stories and your full forecast, head on over to KYMA.com. I'm Caleb Fernandez. See you next time.